Hello everyone, this is the holiday Christmas fan. And in fact, I'm gonna. Hello everyone, this is the holiday Christmas fan. And today, I'm showing you something I got yesterday. I ordered it. This is the thing off Amazon. It was expensive. I got this. A new hoodie for Toronto, the team. Uh, I got this for a reason. I'm going to put it on and tell you guys why I got this hoodie. And there's a, a very good reason why I got it. Um, I needed a new one big time. I really did. My other one was getting too small, so I had to I had to get another one. Mine was mine was too small, getting too small. Um, so I got this. I got this one. For specific reasons, so I'm gonna fix it up here. So, one sec. You know what I'm missing? You know what I'm missing, guys? I'm missing the hat. So, here is my new, uh, my new Leafs jersey. And I got, here's my other one. Here's my other one. I, I had, like, this gray one. And it's real cheap. Like, it's not a good, really, it's kind of ugly sweater Leafs sweater I had to get a legit Leafs hoodie um you know this came from Ontario so it was in Toronto it was around Toronto right um and remember the thing I told you I got a hoodie off Amazon and it, it was a I didn't know it said youth on it and it was too small well, I had to wait months to get this. I had to wait till after my birthday to even order this hoodie. Um, let me tell you, I, I got this hoodie, but I'm going to tell you, there's the player's number. There's the player's number on hit. Austin Matthews, number 34. On the back, his number. And his name is on it. Now let's show you what the hoodie up. As you can tell, it's it's a very nice hoodie. Um, I paid a hundred and ninety dollars for this hoodie, and you're probably thinking, why would you pay that? The player's name is on the back. His number. I wish it had the A on his on on the sweater here because he has an A on the jersey. I wish they added that on it, but that's okay. I'm still pretty happy with it. Um, I'll show you from the side. I wish they had the number, the number here too. But you know what? It's a very nice hoodie. You can't. I can't really complain. You know. So, I got this hoodie for how, how much passion I have for the team, right? I have very, a lot of passion for the team. I have a lot of passion for this team. And I was like, you know what, I gotta get, I gotta get this hoodie. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, um, the reason why I chose the Austin Matthews, there's, there's a Mariner one. There's, these are men's hoodies. There's none in kids. I'm sorry to tell anybody, but if you're a kid and you want one of these, I'm sorry, but there's no kid versions of sizes. Unless you go to the store in Ontario and there's kid version sizes of these. Maybe there is. I have no idea. The only thing I had to do is I had to tie this and it makes sense, you know? And I, I'm fine with that. I just had to tie it up and you have to make you have to make sure 
this is together so you don't see your shirt inside the hoodie and it's perfect um, but I'm gonna tell you right now this is a, a really high quality hoodie and uh, it looks really good on me and I'm glad I got it um, I'm probably gonna be wearing this in September or October because around around September it's gonna start getting cooler out so around there I'm gonna be wearing this in September or October starting to um, I'm very happy with it I couldn't be any happier with this hoodie um, it's great you know I'm gonna tell you right now for how much passion I have for this team I was like you know what I'm gonna go big with a hoodie I'm gonna get a hoodie that is gonna really show people you know I'm a massive Leaf fan. I have posters, collectible pictures, like a book of Toronto, the team, the story of the team, like a big blanket thing I put on my wall of Marner. There's one of, there's this, there's this hoodie, right? One with Tavares, Marner, and Matthew's name on the back and number. There's this, there's a different version of this two two different versions it's the same hoodie just different different players number and name Tavares number 91 Marner number 16 Matthews number 34 the one I got because he's my favorite player on the team I had to get it now if they had the if they're if they made this hoodie with Tavares and the C on his jersey the C on the on the sweater I would have got that one instead but since it doesn't have a C, I'm not get. I didn't want to get it. I wanted to get this one, since Matthews is my favorite player. Um, and I, I also wanted to get this because Matthews, he's around my height. He's six foot four. I'm like six foot three, so he's a little taller than me. I have to be six foot three. I'm not six foot four. I am definitely six foot three. Um. I'm close to six foot four, so that's one another reason why I got it. Cause Matthews, I'm almost his height, so he's a big boy. <laughs> let me tell you. But for how much passion I have for the team, right? I'll show you what I have. I'll show you what I have. I'll show you two things I have, right? Um, I got a book and a signed, a signed uh, picture from an old 1967 Toronto player that won the Stanley Cup that year. My uncle Stephen found this at a uh, not a yard sale. I can't remember what it's called. You go in and they have used stuff for sale. Uh, I think it was like it was something like a retail store. Um, he, got, he went there and he found this there and he got it for me you know he really he does know how much passion I have for the team right so yeah there's that I'm gonna put these back on the on the uh, TV stand here There's that. Now, I remember back in 2016 when Matthews was the first overall pick. I was sitting there praying. I was sitting there freaking praying, watching it. I was like, Toronto, better get this or I'm actually going to be ticked off. They need the first round pick. They deserved it. They were the team. They were the right team for this player, Austin Matthews. Toronto wasn't coming up. Second place. I can't remember who the second team was. Then come up. Then the first round pick came up. And it was Toronto. And I was like, oh my god. They got it. I could not believe they got Austin Matthews. And it's funny. Austin Matthews was my favorite player in 2016. 
then it was Marner. Then it was Marner, because Matthews was actually getting worse. Matthews in 2017, he didn't do anything. He wasn't doing anything 2017 or 2018. He didn't really do much. He didn't score much. He was playing lazy. And then 2019, 2020, the 2019, 2020 season, Austin Matthew was playing like a beast. He was playing like a superstar. He was playing amazing, unbelievable. I remember when Tavares came back in 20, 2018. Tavares was another first round pick for Toronto. He came in. And I think Toronto has a first round pick in like 2024 or something like that. I can't remember what year it is. When it, I can't remember. If you guys know, let me know when Toronto, when Toronto's, Toronto gets the next first round. Um, I'd love to know. <laughs> I would love to know. But you know, like 2020 was the year Toronto was going to go to the playoffs with their new coach, Sheldon Keefe. And this was going to happen. And I know this was going to happen. They were going to go to the third round. Toronto was going to make it past the third, past the first round since like years ago, right? Since the 90s. The last time Toronto almost won the Stanley Cup was with Doug Gilmore, um... I can't remember what the other guy's name is, but there was all these good players. Doug Gilmore was the captain in the 90s. He was really good. He took the team to the semifinals. He helped this team, the coach, you know, the coach in the 90s, he's dead now. He's not alive. He was a Toronto coach. He was good. And I knew if Toronto kept that coach, back in the 90s, kept Doug Gilmore, kept all these other players, just traded certain players for better players, they would have won the Stanley Cup after they went out the semifinals by Los Angeles. Gretzky was on that team. He was the reason. Los Angeles was the reason when they had Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky was probably the big reason why Los Angeles went to the conference Stanley Cup Final, which is the final round to win the Stanley Cup. Wayne Gretzky took them to the Conference Finals, but what happened the last game? Toronto choked. Oh my God! It wasn't bad either. Like they didn't choke terribly. They were they were. It was a very. And I knew Toronto. If they bet Los Angeles, that. That last game in the semifinals, Toronto would have went to the conference finals in 1990, and they would have won the Stanley Cup. I knew they would have won it. They were going to win it. That year was the year we were going to see Toronto win another Stanley Cup in a long time. It's almost 60 years going on, almost 60 years ago, since Toronto won their Stanley Cup in 1967. Almost 60 years ago. And I know for a fact if Toronto wins the Stanley Cup again, and they will, I know they're going to win it. Sheldon Keefe won the Stanley Cup with Tampa Bay. He was a player on that team years ago. My prediction is going to be 2021. If it's not 2021, it's either going to be 2022 or 2023. One of those three years, it's going to be 2021 or 2022 or 2023. The Leafs are going to win their Stanley Cup since 1967. And there's this YouTuber called The Hockey Guy. And his prediction, he made a, a prediction. Till 2021 till 2040. And his 2021 prediction for the Stanley Cup champions is going to, was Toronto 2021 and it doesn't surprise me that people are thinking this right like people people are going to make fun of Toronto either way you know 
but I don't care what child people think, right? Haters can hate the team, right? But I don't care about that. My opinion is my opinion, and that will not change. And I know they're gonna win it. Why? Why would they? Why would they have four superstar players? Matthews, Nylander, Tavares, and Mitch Marner. The four superstar players. And Freddie Anderson. Freddie Anderson did not have a good season this year. And it kind of worries me a little bit. Why was he playing the way he was playing? I don't know if it was because of Mike Babcock, Seward, half of the players. He wasn't playing Matthews much or Tavares, or Nylander, or Marner, and he was playing Freddie Anderson way too much, so he sewered Freddie Anderson, probably. Like, Babcock pretty much freaked up Anderson's career this year. Like, freaked it up. Freaked his season over. And I'm like, okay, if Anderson doesn't, like, figure something out, and start playing. I hope, like Freddie Anderson, how do we not know? Like, how do we know Freddie Anderson is not going to have his best season in 2021? Like, how do we know he's not going to be unbelievable? Like, we don't know. He might, um, he might shock a lot of Leaf fans and be like, you know what? I don't want to leave Toronto. I want to prove people wrong that I'm still Freddie Anderson and I can be better than I ever was. Same with Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner was like a ghost all year. And no, I'm not being racist because he's white or a different color. I'm not being racist or anything. But really, he it felt like he wasn't even playing. Like you could barely, you couldn't even recognize him. You couldn't because the way he was playing. And he had some mind-blowing games. Like he did some uh, amazing stuff. Like the Carolina game, Mitch Marner scored two times on a breakaway. Skated through all these players two times. Do I think Marner could actually be better than Nylander? I don't know. The way Marner did was shown potential. I was like, oh my god. That's crazy. The way Marner was playing... You know, Marner, Matthews, and Nylander try the hardest. Tavares? Tavares, I know he's the oldest player, right? On the team. Or Jason Spezza. I say Jason Spezza. But Tavares. Tavares was kind of disappointing this year. Tavares was was doing more than Marner, but like Tavares still, to me, Tavares didn't do much. Like he barely scored. And that's a problem, right? When you got your captain, that's the leader, right? He's the leader. And like, he's barely doing anything. That's a problem. That's a big problem. I don't think he's going to be traded. I don't think he will be just because of Kyle Dubas and Brandon Shanahan and Sheldon Keith know what they gotta do to make this team win the Stanley Cup. I know what they gotta do. Trade Cody Ceci, trade Tyson Berry, and there you go. You're gonna have a very good defensive line. That's the only problem with this team is their defense. That's it. If they can if they can get someone like Dustin Bufflin or Dustin Bufflin or Josh Manson, or Tyler Myers, something like that, right? You're good. You're fine. But if you can't do that, you're not going to look good. If you get someone like Cody Cece again, why did you bother trading Cody Cece? People are, people are going on about, oh, Toronto's going to get Matt Dumba. No, Toronto's not going to get Matt Dumba. I bet you right now. They are not going to get him. Yeah, he can hit. He can definitely hit players and rock them, right? 
he doesn't he barely does anything. He's like he's like Tyson Berry, but a little better. Not a whole lot better, but a little better. Right? Matt Sandine. That that guy from the Toronto Marlies, Toronto's camp team. He, he's good. He's good. He can hit, but he's actually pretty good. Probably better than Matt Dumba. Matt Dumba is not worth his money. Not in my opinion. He had people were like he had like his worst season this year. Why would Toronto want to get him? Right? I would not go for a player that is not showing improvement. They're gonna want someone like Jake Muzzin. Jake Muzzin is big and heavy. He's like 215 pounds. Jake Muzzin. Toronto's gonna want to get a right shot at defenseman. Muzzin is a left shot. A heavy hitter. That's big. Toronto's gonna want to get a right shot at defenseman. That's big. Dustin Bufflin is the perfect example. And a lot of people are gonna agree with me, even if they don't like Toronto. They're going to be like, okay, you proved us wrong. Dustin Bufflin is the proper defenseman for your team. And the Leafs need him. But the problem with this situation is Dustin Bufflin is going through mental problems. Mental problems. Like, something is not right with him. Something is very mentally ill with Dustin Bufflin. And he's thinking about retiring. But... I don't know. He didn't. He just randomly wasn't showing up to practice and didn't even tell his coach. And he, he and he still hasn't told his coach about anything. And uh, they determinated his contract from the team, and they thanked him for what he has done. So I don't know if Dustin Bufflin is going to come back to hockey, right? Like, no one knows what's going to happen with Dustin Bufflin. No one knows where he is. Like, where is Dustin Bufflin? Like, you know, we don't really know what's going on with him. So, you know, I hope uh, <sighs> I hope Dustin Bufflin gives everybody an update on what's going on. You know, because I, I don't want to see this player be gone. Like, I want this guy to come back to hockey. And do I think he would go to Toronto? Yeah, absolutely. The most dangerous defenseman in, in the league. Dustin Bufflin is literally the most dangerous defenseman in the league because of how big he is. He's not as tall as Chera, but he's bigger than Chera because of his size. I mean his weight, like muscle weight. Good muscle. 260 pounds. He's probably bigger now, probably like 280. But, do I think Dustin Bufflin could come back, and maybe Kyle Dubas will try to call Dustin Bufflin and talk to him privately and ask him uh, a, a very personal question on what's going on, what's going on, man? Like, I, I heard your contract got determinated. If you're wondering, this is Kyle Dubas, the manager from Toronto Maple Leafs. I'd love to know what's going on because, man, I don't know if you care, but I would love to have you on my team. I would love to. I would love if you could. I would trade you to Toronto, if that's what you would want. The fans here are great. Amazing fans. We would love you. We want to win the Stanley Cup. With a, I'm, we need a right shot at defenseman. And, we'll pay you. Good money, but not overpaid, right? I don't know why Dustin Bufflin is not coming back or coming out telling the hockey community what the heck is going on with him. Like, I myself 
I don't even think we're ever going to know what's going on with him. I don't even know if he's going to come back. I don't think he's going to come back. Like, to really think about it, I don't think he will. And it sucks to say that, but I don't think Dustin Bufflin is going to come back any day now. And I'd love him to come back, you know, because if, if he comes to Toronto, he could probably help this team win the Stanley Cup. He can hit, man, like, he's not afraid to hit, and he hits a lot, like, a lot. He hits so much, like, and that's a good thing. If I, if I was Kyle Dubas, I would go out there and try to call him and be like, I don't know if you're coming back to play hockey ever again, but we would love to trade you. This is Kyle Dubas from Toronto, and we would love to bring you. I don't know if you would like to play with the Toronto Maple Leafs, but I'd love to trade you here. We have a team that we think can win the Stanley Cup, and I think you would be a massive help for this team to win it. And I don't know if you're going through anything terrible or what's going on, man, but I'd love to know what's going on, because and then if he said, well, I'm going through some mental problems and I'm, I'm actually getting better and I'm thinking about coming back, actually. I'd be shocked to hear that. I'd be like, if Dustin Bufflin is actually thinking about coming back, that would be awesome. But I really don't know what's going to be happening with him. Uh, I'd love him to come back, but... What can you do, right? Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of the new hoodie I got. I love it. See you guys in another holiday video.